Good morning, everybody. Happy uh, Tuesday, May 7th. Um, got my YouTube video all uploaded and it is a bit earlier today. It is 9.50 because uh, I had to get up to edit my video because from 9 or I guess 10 to 11, 11.15ish, I'm going to be watching the Apple event. I've been watching the Apple event for, I don't know, I'd say probably the last three years, all of them. Uh, well, I say all of them. I think they're only two a year. Uh, there's one in the spring and then one in the fall. And man, I love watching those things. Uh, when they came out with the Apple Vision Pro, oh my gosh, dude, I, that was last year, right before I went to camp, my mind was blown. I was so excited. So I'm excited to see what they're going to unveil uh, this year, I guess, or this session whatever it is. I'm, I'm very excited. So we're going to start the day off right. And then uh, Leia's coming at 11. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. My mom's driving right now. So a uh, bunch of fun things to come. And here we go. Okie dokes. It is over. It is actually over earlier than expected. It was only 40, actually it was 39 minutes, uh, but it was all about the new iPads and the things that they can do with those iPads and all the software it just blows my mind. It's absolutely amazing. So um, if you want to watch it, it is probably on Apple's website. And oh man, um, MKBHD, uh, he'll probably come out with some videos, which I love watching. And uh, I'll, <laughs> I'm probably going to watch this right now because I'm sure he just dropped it as the video ended. So I'm going to go look for those actually. No new videos yet on Marquez Brownlee's page, but I will definitely be looking out for it. Even though I watched it myself, I might just watch it back with his commentary just because he has such amazing insight on stuff. But uh, I've actually been going over here on uh, the iPad website and just looking, comparing like my iPad mini to the new ones. Oh my gosh. I mean, okay, so this is 8.3 inches, okay? If we go up to... Um, if we go up and we're on the compare page, this is, <laughs> this is the iPad mini over here. Okay. Look how big <laughs> those iPads are. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I know they've had that big before, but just to look at it, it's crazy. I mean, gosh, they are beautiful. I am so excited, even though I'm not going to get it because <laughs> I have that kind of money one day. One day, that is the dream to have all that cool new technology every single year. That would be that would be the absolute dream to have that stuff. Ah, so exciting! But I always love uh, I always love Apple days. <laughs> so uh, that's the excitement for this morning. And well, I guess we're gonna have some more excitement here in a minute because uh, Mom and little Leia are gonna be here at probably about eleven. So about six minutes. Well, you know, they'll be here within eleven. At 11-ish, so that would be exciting too. <laughs> oh boy, they're here. Oh man. There we go. Everything's good in the world. Hey, Leia. Leia, look at the camera. Guess it's a good time. Leia's drinking water, and I guess I'll eat some breakfast too. So as y'all saw in the thumbnail, I have a lot of shoes. And uh, what brought this on was uh, St Stacy Muff 96.4. And uh, they were referring to all the shoes that I have back here, like my flip flops, my Sperry's, my soccer cleats, and then uh, my Crocs are behind this. And then I had uh, one pair of basketball shoes out. So over the years, of <laughs> playing basketball, I have accumulated all these shoes and I thought I'd go, th I thought I would go through them. I'm gonna bring it all up here so I can show y'all in depth and uh, sort of explain the process of getting the shoe and all that and the journey it's gone through, I suppose, because they, they've certainly gone through a lot. So uh, let's see, I'll pick, I'll pick these ones right here. Uh, so these were my first ever shoe. Uh, they're not, uh, they're branded, they, they're uh, uh, Under Armour, but they're not like a signature shoe. No professional athlete wore these specific shoes or designed them. 
uh, but I got these, oh gosh, um, I got these when I was playing church basketball. Uh, I wore them all four years in high school uh, for church basketball, not like school basketball. But uh, they held up pretty well and now I use them for outside because they are very durable. And uh, let's see, I'll go into the second shoe, like the second shoe I ever got. I'll, I'll see if I can do them in order, but I've had a lot of shoes and I'm not sure I'll remember all of them in order, but we'll try. Um, so these are the second shoes. Uh, these are the first ones I ever customized. Uh, these are the Soldier 12s, I believe, LeBron Soldier 12s. And uh, they have my initials on them right there. And then they have the LeBron logo. Uh, I chose all the colors and everything. And even even the soles and uh, the gray with uh, like blue, blue stuff on them. Oh, I'm sorry, you're over here. <laughs> um, and I love the straps. The straps are my favorite thing because when you're going in, sometimes people are like, oh, come on real quick. And then you just slip them on, Velcro, Velcro, you're good, you're good to go. Instead of having time, I, right now I have to double knot my shoes and that is just, that's a pain. I just don't like doing that. But uh, these went through COVID as well and uh, it took their toll on them. So there is a hole right here. Uh, I'll see if I, uh, insole, insoles are gone, their toes, but look at that, I <laughs> put my finger in it. Uh, they served their purpose and they did well outside. But uh, that is the end of these shoes and I'm still gonna keep them because they're memories. Uh, so let's see, on to the next shoes. Oh, this is tough. I honestly don't know which shoes I've had next. Let's see, so the next gens are right now. The, oh my gosh, uh, let's see, one, two, three. You know what, I think it was the Currys. So uh, we'll, we'll get this out. Okay, so it's this box right here. The Curry Flow, I couldn't tell you what number, maybe it's on here. Uh, the Curry Four, what? Wow, Curry 4 Flotro, Flo yeah, it says Flotro, F-O-L, or F-L-O-T-R-O, Flotro. Okay, so, wow, the 4s, uh, I, I believe they're on the 10s now, so that's crazy. So uh, here we go, open these up, and as you can see, these are the my soles from some of the other shoes, not the soles, but like the the lining of them and I could just rip them out. So <laughs> this is the whole, <laughs> the inside of the shoe. It's not really, you might think it's gross, but it's not really that gross. Um, so we're out the heel and then big toe right there and then the ball of your foot's right here. It's kind of cool actually, uh, but I kept them because you know, that's awesome. So here, we'll get to the actual shoe. Uh, I actually made a TikTok about these one time and it did really well. So. These are what they look like. I'll pull them out for you. Oh yeah, these were good shoes. Okay, so I got the, these are the Cookie Monster colorways and uh, they they did okay. Uh, it was the foam sole that killed me. Uh, so over here on this foot, so I drag my toe and it is apparent with this one, but look, that's fuzzy, that's hype. Uh, insoles did did really well, uh, but it was the toe right here. Can stick my whole fingers through it. Uh, so yeah, I was literally touching the ground with my feet and that was uncomfortable. I probably wore these out in a month, which was very unfortunate. I think they were like $160, but for the month that they, I did play with them, they did really well. Uh, they had a lot of grip, it was crazy grip. Uh, the phone did really well with the grip portion, not the durability. So unfortunate that that didn't work out. But, uh, and then for un some unknown reason, I decided to go, where are we? I decided to go with some more uh, <laughs> curries. And I, again, I love the grip, here they are. Uh, not the flashiest that I've ever had, 
but these glow, which now thinking about it, I'm never going to play basketball in the dark. So uh, that's useless. But in my room, they would keep me up because they, they would glow. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's kind of a bright green, you know. Uh, but again, the durability, could I could not handle my play style, I guess. And again, with the toe, go all the way in. So uh, that is when, this was my last ever curry shoe and it probably will be my last curry shoe unless they go back to rubber because I can, either I completely relearn how to jump and not drag my toe or I just get shoes that can handle me. So unfortunately, rubber is the only way I'm gonna go. And uh, same thing happened on this, the other shoe, this thing came off. Uh, grip really well and they're comfortable. I mean, even the inside. Oh man, and this, uh, like the stretchiness of this. Oh dude, I love this. And they were kind of high tops. Dude, love the design, love the design. Great design, just not good build quality. Or I guess the materials are just poor for me. Uh, let's see. Okay, so then, let's see. I think we're into like junior year now. And I bought three pairs of shoes, I want to say. One, yeah, yeah, three pairs of shoes. Okay, so I got the, uh, I got some Kyrie Irvings. And these aren't all the new, they weren't the newest shoes. Uh, actually, I think the Giannis's were, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And then the, uh, I think the LeBrons were, they were either a year out or they were new i can't can't remember but these are the witnesses and uh i'll start with i'll start with the Kyrie's. so here are the Kyrie shoes i think they're called fly traps yeah the fly fly trap five and uh the grip was okay on these see i mean it can't really tell that I've used them other than the dirtiness, but never wore out. But they, they're just so hard that it didn't grip as well on the dusty floors. And then they have a huge flaw, which is right in here. I, there's nothing to see, but there is something right here on the inside and it will rub your, just, it's like a little plastic piece. It's part of the shoe. You can't take it out, you can't rip it apart but it, it wears a just a, the tiniest little hole in your foot on both sides, like on like both shoes, they have the problem. And it's just like, it's almost like a triangle, a point. So it, the point right here just digs in you. And I had blisters there and it was so painful. So I stopped wearing those because I was, I literally just had blisters for like three weeks. And thankfully I bought uh, most of these at the same time. So actually, I think I bought all three of them at the same time so I could not just blow through my shoes and maybe like wear one, wear the other, and then wear another and then repeat and, you know, kind of let them <laughs> let them rest a little bit. So uh, we'll go on to the witnesses next, the LeBrons. I always like LeBrons. Everyone says they're heavy, but uh, I just, I like the build quality of them, except the soles. The soles always suck. But uh, here they are, and these actually look pretty new. I used them for, I would say about half a semester. I mean, they low key look new. I mean, look at that, that good build quality. You can even see, like I dragged my toe, but it's just such good build quality. Uh, I mean, you can tell I haven't worn them that much because I have, I mean, regardless of this, I think I just put them back in there cause I put them in the, in the box, but I haven't worn the sole, the heels out yet. But the problem with these is they were too tall and not wide enough. They needed to be a little wider or a little lower because this is like the recipe for rolling your ankle. You know, you hit that one shoe and because, yeah, you step on a shoe or something, I guess it'd be over here and your foot goes boom. And since it's not wide, it would just crumble and your sh your foot would be gone, your ankle toast. So uh, it's not that I wore these out, it is literally because I wasn't confident in my playing because I was scared of rolling my ankle. That's why I stopped using these, which is unfortunate because 
oh, there's such a great shoe. Um, so we'll move on to the Giannis's, which uh, do have that wide footing because Giannis, I mean, he is always in the paint doing Euros, so he needs that wide footstep. So he doesn't twist his ankle. And as you can tell, I have definitely used these because these are dirty as all get out. Okay, let's pull these bad boys out. Oh yes, dude, these were great shoes. I would still wear them if they didn't look like they did. Okay, here's, <laughs> boom. Okay, so uh, as you can see, the toe is still intact, okay? I cannot put my finger through that at all, but it's the, you know, the outside that's looking a little rough. And uh, yeah, this used to be white, used to be the same color. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's a problem with getting white shoes, but uh, wore the, <laughs> wore the inside out like crazy. Uh, it, before the two, so there used to be two of, like the two same things there, but uh, I those came out. Um, but it was like a cheese grater on the bottom. And I mean, I wore through like 20 pairs of socks because I mean, it, it only took one, one hoop session and they were cheese grated to death. So uh, it was about time that I got rid of those. Same on uh, this side, cheese grater. Great design if, uh, if everything stays intact though. <laughs> uh, same with the, over here. Oh man, all got ripped to shreds. But still, uh, didn't come through, it's still good. Um, so, I mean, technically I could play in these. And here's what I'm talking about, wideness. So, uh, it's hard to tell, here. Look how wide that is. It comes all the way out and oh, and the bottoms are pretty cool too because they got like these things. It's hard to, it's hard to get it on camera, honestly. But uh, these are so much wide, wider than the LeBrons. And honestly, I think I'm gonna put them up here and they're gonna be the same, but these are a little lower to the ground as well. But let's see if I get, so even though it's minimal, it does matter. And these are lower and these are higher. So it just, so thinner, uh, base and taller roll ankle lower to the ground and slightly wider uh, base less likely to roll your ankle and that's why that's why I chose these ultimately to uh, wear and heel felt all good there was nothing digging a hole in my foot and my heel that was really annoying uh, so that's what we got and then uh, and then back to my original shoes that I, let's see, I think that's all of them. Yeah. Oh, uh, I didn't mention these. <laughs> okay, so uh, these are the shoes that I wear outside. Y'all seen these before. I've worn, worn these. Uh, I don't really do this strap very often. It's just this one, put them out. Got a lockdown tab. Uh, I customized these colors, uh, red, white, and blue, America. And uh, then on the inside, I've got Drew, which is hype. Uh, the soles are completely gone. Uh, I actually think these are the 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 insoles that I took out uh, that were in the curry box. Uh, but grip is still pretty good. I use these outside now. Uh, you can see I'm wearing the toe down. That's just from being outside. But still a great shoe. Uh, they are a little worn, obviously. I mean, especially on this side. I mean, I, it's basically a hole but uh, still still works just fine. Uh, toe's not coming through or anything. Actually, <laughs> Band-Aid, uh, <laughs> the outside of, of Band-Aid, uh, probably for fingers and cuts, like uh, right here. Over the past two days, I got this one like two days ago and this one when we were doing going with crew. Just happens, I, I literally carry Band-Aids in my wallet because I get cut up so much. But uh, <laughs> that's funny. But great shoe. Uh, these are the soldier. Ugh, these are the soldier 13s, I believe. I was just chomping at the bit to get the. So I had the 12s and I wanted the 13s. And then they stopped. I think they made 14s, but they were ugly. So either they made them and they were ugly, or those were the LeBron, the latest LeBrons. I don't know. But uh, sadly, I didn't get the next pair. And uh, then we'll go over to the final pair, which are my. LeBron Next Gens, which are the shoes that I wear all the time that y'all have seen in nearly 
every video so it's a big box <laughs> but uh here they are yeah I, I did put them back in the box just because presentation you know uh but so far these are holding up well everything except the insoles well that is one place that either i need to get insoles or nike could improve those drastically so here here she is uh she's still got that ripe smell to her because i wore them like two days ago <laughs> uh but toes doing pretty good you can see where i drag them so right there there <laughs> a little bit right right in the front there they are dirty as well uh grips doing pretty well does well on dust as well yeah i have as well as well as well <laughs> uh insole this is what they get to looking like so i have to kind of like place it and then put my foot in so it's not all crinkled up like here uh Oh yeah, all fallen down, you can almost pull it out. That's just one place Nike could so much improve their shoe. But other than that, I mean, uh, the laces too, these laces suck. Uh, I have to double knot these. They're, they're a good material, but they're so thick that you can't like crank them down on just a single tie. So you have to double knot them and that just takes forever. Uh, so, uh, those are all my shoes. Hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, segment. <laughs> I got inside all over my computer uh, and all over my desk. Oh man, that's yuck. But uh, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I enjoyed showing you all my shoes. And now you know, I do have a lot of shoes that are bas only basketball shoes. And I have worn through a lot. So uh, I usually get new ones every semester. And so, this was actually the first time, honestly, because I didn't have any money, but uh, that I didn't get new shoes for the new semester. And uh, next next semester, I am looking forward to getting some new shoes. Hopefully, if they have some good designs, uh, that's also a big factor. If they look like crappy shoes, I'm not gonna get them. But uh, I certainly need them, need new insoles at least. And because the, the shoe's holding up, but you know, it's always fun coming in, seeing everybody's new shoes, going, oh man, those are awesome. Uh, let's see, what time is it? Uh, been talking for a while. Let me see, it is 2.19. I need to go get a Mother's Day present and I'm not really sure if I wanna do that right now. Mm, I think I'm gonna clean up. Um, I'll go down, get a snack, get some milk, cause I'm kinda thirsty and we'll decide from there. The decision is Rogue One. I may not finish it, but I'm certainly gonna start it. Okay, Leia's been a bad girl. And uh, she rolled around in some beer poop, so we're gonna have to clean her off. She doesn't particularly like this, but Leia, you stink. So, here we go. Does that feel better? All nice and clean now? All right, here you go, girl. <laughs> oh, yep, those are the clean laundries. Oh well, <laughs> yeah, get that smell back on you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tear it up, Leia. <laughs> I know, all that clean smell on you. Yeah, feel better? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, get it all off you, girl. <laughs> Well, I guess I can wash those towels again <laughs> and socks. <laughs> yeah, girl, tear it up. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a good girl. <laughs> okay, Grandma and Grandpa just got home and we're going to eat again. My favorite place. Watch that, y'all. Yeah. Don't break it. Okay, dogs, just got back from an amazing time at Chick-fil-A. Of course, that's my favorite spot. And they, I asked for Chick-fil-A sauce. They gave us six. I ate, I ate two. And uh, I, I just couldn't believe how many they gave us. So I kept them. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go. I'll, I'll put those downstairs in a minute. But uh, uh, Grandpa's putting the garbage out right now. And uh, Grandma's downstairs. Got to lay a hair in my mouth. <laughs> Uh, but I said hi to her. She was so excited when I came in. Hope y'all enjoyed the vlog today and I'll see you tomorrow.